Gamers and car nerds around the world can agree on two things. One is that driving simulators are cool, and two, there's a split between which the best title was between Gran Turismo and Forza. And it also actually splits the automotive world between the two gaming continents, Xbox and PlayStation. While these titles are the last word in driving simulators, there is another title that rings true in the hearts and thumbs of every gamer out there, Need for Speed. When we heard about Need for Speed Heat, we decided, hey, why not check it out? Why not celebrate their 25 year anniversary by rating the top seven best games that Need for Speed has released? So in putting this list together, we had to take it seriously. We booked a boardroom, we got some pizzas, we made sure that we got the marker pens that made us look like Russell Crowe in a beautiful mind while we ride against the glass. And we spent hours, I mean hours working on this list, debating everything from gameplay, storyline, career mode. And that's the criteria for this list. At the bottom of the list, I think it's only fair that we give an honorary mention to the first and original Need for Speed. As an original game, it was first published in 1994. It changed the way we experience gaming and driving games with it being able or available on PC DOS and for console games it came out on Panasonic, 3DO, Sega Saturn and of course the original PlayStation. Ask your dad if you don't know what we're on about there. At the number 7 spot, we've got Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. Now this may be an unusual title to mention. Released in the year 2000, the game was put together as the 5th installment in the series and a nod to the Porsche catalog of cars made between 1950 and the year 2000. Reviews were mixed on this game, but the car fans were able to appreciate the vastness of the Porsche model that had been featured. We felt like the game had to be mentioned that it was a bold move for Electronic Arts. And magic number 6 goes down to Need for Speed Hard Pursuit 2. Although this wasn't the first of the hard pursuits, this was one game changer when it came to the number of cars available and the race courses that featured in the game. While still rudimentary as far as career progression is concerned, the tracks were challenging and the most exciting moments were the short pauses in the race, where cars would flag you for speeding and then begin their chase. At the number 5 spot we have Need for Speed Undercover. Now this might confuse you a little bit, but hear us out. Released in 2008, Undercover was a great spin on the hard pursuit concept while staying contemporary with the introduction of free roaming and elaborated storylines for career modes. Players took the role of an undercover police officer looking to bring down the syndicate within the underground street racing world. The game brought into an interesting lineup of cars like your Bugatti Veyrons and many more. And also, who could forget the early crush? Maggie Q. Coming in for the certificate at number 4, we have Need for Speed. Released in 2011, the run is the 18th title to come from the Need for Speed series and another unique take on the Hot Pursuit idea. Players would take place in a series of challenges while racing in real world locations across the United States from state to state. The variety of challenges throughout your career gameplay made this game really cool in our view. It broke the monotony of the typical 3-2-1 standing race start and the storyline is reminiscent of the Need for Speed movie with Aaron Paul. At number 3, we can see ourselves getting a lot of heat in the comment section for this one but come at me bro. We have Need for Speed Underground. Released as the seventh installment in the series, this game not only changed the gaming culture, but it unpacked the street racing world and built up a strong appreciation for the world of car customization. The opening theme song for the game is without a doubt one of the most memorable kicks off to the game. <laughs> version of drag racing made this game a hit. A lot of people may wonder why we chose this at number three, but it might make sense in a minute. And at the number two spot, we had a huge fight. I mean, a huge fight. Like there were talks of resignations for irreconcilable differences. And number two, we have Need for Speed Underground 2. As a follow-up to the cultural earthquake the first Underground brought up, Underground 2 had a lot to live up to. Some may disagree for purely nostalgic reasons, but the gameplay, storyline, and driving dynamics of Underground 2 superseded that of the original Underground. Not to mention that Underground 2 was the first game in the Need for Speed series to introduce free roaming in their game. Also, hey bro, bro. Now, we had a lot of fun putting this list together. We started with a list of 50, we had to narrow it down all the way down to seven. We didn't want to go through the schlep of editing all of that gameplay and all of those trailers and all, but we did watch and go through them carefully and play them. So. And number one, the golden medal, the winner, 
Need for Speed Most Wanted. Yay! All right, the number one Need for Speed title on our list goes to a game with an iconic name and hero card. The opening sequence to the game sets the mood and brings a lot of sense of seriousness for the entire game. As your custom-built E46 M3 gets impounded, you're later forced to work with the police in bringing down a massive syndicate involved in illegal street racing. At the time, the game set fire to every boy's race of thumbs, and the M3 build is probably one of the most iconic modes to this day. Need for Speed Most Wanted build a super immersive experience with awesome backstories to various members of the syndicate, and this story could not be outdone by a follow-up on Undercover. The phrase most wanted has become synonymous with the Need for Speed brand for almost 14 years and you'd be hard pressed to find anyone that loves Need for Speed but hasn't played most wanted. This is why it's the best game to ever come out of the electronic arts for us. So that's our list guys and we spent a lot of time on it, we had a lot of arguments, we had a lot of fun putting it together and we're going to be doing this kind of thing quite regularly. Yeah and we'd love to know what you think. So if any other titles that you want to hit us up with, please drop them in the comments below and let's have a chat about it. I'm Mo. And I'm Carl. So, bye bye. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs>